Uh, so we didn't even realise this one was here. We are just driving along the highway and we found another plane. <laughs> so this one, you can go inside. So this is the one we are looking for before, I think. But yeah, finding planes everywhere today. It smells amazing. All right, so we're trying to find some hidden places around Bali, but we feel like that's near impossible because nothing's hidden around here. We went to one place just before it was called the hidden canyon and we knew it wasn't hidden when there was signs directing straight into the canyon and that was 150,000 to get in so we didn't even bother for that and we're at a place right now it's an abandoned amusement park but we had to pay for this one as well it was 25,000 but it looks pretty neat and apparently this amusement park closed down like not long after it opened up in 1997 because of financial and marketing issues so it's really not that old like it's only like 22 years old it's crazy to think because all the trees and the bush bushes around here has just completely taken over the building Alright, so this spot is GWK Cultural Park and to get into here was 125000 but didn't really mind paying that much because it seems like they have a lot of things but they got some giant statues, so that one you just saw before but the most iconic one, it says it's Bali's most iconic landmark is this bad boy so this thing, you can see, we can see that from Changu, it's that big it's, I think it's 120.9 metres, so it is massive but yeah, there's a lot to see around this area.
Oh well, that was good. I feel like that was well worth the visit. Like, within the price too, you get this. It's like a, just a free souvenir, you get a free drink, and they have like entertainment shows every like hour in there, and you also get to watch like a little cartoon movie, so that's fun. And if you want to, you can pay a bit more. I think it's like, if you pay an extra 50,000, you can go up inside of that statue right up the top, so it'd be a pretty amazing view up there. But right now, we're heading to an abandoned plane. Don't know how abandoned it's gonna be, whether or not if we're gonna have to pay, but we'll check it out. I think it's it, yeah, we've been up here. Airplane, show yourself. Oh, there it is. Whoa! Jesus! That's random. Alright, so we tried to suss out to see if we can get inside the plane, but we kind of look like that down there was the only entrance. We've already been told off, we can't go in there. So, I'll just fly my drone around. So we didn't even realize this one was here. We we're just driving along the highway and we found another plane. <laughs> so this one, you can go inside. So this is the one we we're looking for before, I think. But yeah, finding planes everywhere today. I didn't realize we were allowed to do this, but we could walk right on the end of the wing. My sister doesn't like it very much. <laughs> How cool is this? And welcome to Inside the Plane. I don't know where all the passenger seats are. <laughs> empty. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I wonder if your plane's like this for tomorrow. <laughs> There's the toilet. Oh yeah, toilet. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> now up here we got the cockpit. I don't think this plane will go though, <laughs> by the looks of it. Next stop, Australia, let's go! <laughs> so it goes to show you just even driving around Bali, you'll never know what you're gonna run into because sometimes you might just run into a giant abandoned plane. All right, guess what we're doing? We're getting a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> so my sister's reeled me into it. I really wanted to get it, but it was just kind of weird timing for me because I didn't want to get it wet, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm going to do it, and this is going to be my first time getting a tattoo. Second time? Second time. Second time. My baby one. I'm going to get it on the foot. I'm not going to tell you what I'm getting, but I'll show you after this. Oh, I have no idea what this is going to be like. <laughs> Alright, first in line, Marissa. <laughs> okay, so my sister has a whole hour till her tattoo gets finished, so I'm just gonna head out, and get some dinner, and then after that, it is gonna be my turn. Oh, finished that? Eh? Oh, nice. That looks good. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Didn't know it was gonna be that quick. <laughs> all right so we got all of our tattoos sorted and here it is 
So I got escaping comfort zone. I've got my logo and my sister got an arrow. It says warrior. But mine, <laughs> mine was bleeding a fair bit. And it did hurt a bit, but that's okay now. <laughs> so that tattoo place we got was called, what was it called again? Luxury Inc. Oh yeah, it was called Luxury Inc. So this one is like a really good tattoo place. Don't just go to the first one you see in Bali because I've heard really bad stories about people doing that and apparently they reuse the needles. So make sure to look up where you're going to a tattoo place, but I'll leave a description of this one in the links below if you're thinking of getting a tattoo yourself. But that is my first tattoo guys and that is a bucket list ticked so <laughs> I'm really excited for this and yeah, come out good, come out good I reckon. But I had a great day today and sadly my sister is heading off tomorrow so farewell. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that, oh yuck I just rubbed it all on the <laughs> bed. So yeah that's it but I have very exciting plans over the next few days, so be sure to stay tuned for the next few videos. So, but thanks for watching, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I'll see you later. Bye!